Welcome to Speed Hacks, hosted by myself, Dave Dombro, and Kevin Fallon here. First, let's talk about our mission with Speed Hacks. Simply put, we intend to take top performance footwear and hack it with the specific intent of making it faster. Keep in mind, our goal at Speed Hack is not to review footwear in the traditional sense. Our goal is to see whether we can make footwear faster. So, in order to come up with a Speed Hack plan, we will typically look at six performance areas to determine where we see room for improvement. And those performance areas are fit, flex, weight, traction, cushioning, and geometry. And after reviewing these areas, we'll sketch out the revisions and put our thoughts on paper. And then we'll attempt a speed hack. So today's speed hack will be centered on the Nike Kyger 5. The Kyger is Nike's pinnacle trail runner. It blends speed with versatility. And I think after only a few runs, we could tell this was going to be a very comfortable all-around trail runner. Uh, having logged the miles and looked very closely at the product, uh, both inside and out, our speed hack plan for the Kyger will have us focus on three main areas. First up, weight. We have targeted excess weight on the midsole, the outsole, and the upper that we will shave off. These adjustments should save us about a half an ounce. Second area we're going to attack in the speed hack is fit. There's two major changes here. We'll remove the midfoot bandage on the lateral side because we think it's redundant with the booty. And we'll make the medial arch bandage more effective by attaching it further under the foot and articulating the sock liner. We think fewer layers in the midfoot will give a better locking fit, and the dynamic arch, we hope, enhances the fit sensation. We will also add two strips of Dyneema tape to reduce any excess stretch on the quarter. The third and final area we'll attack is the traction. We'll try to sharpen up the leading edge of these lugs and add some multi-directional grooves. We think this should improve traction on muddy surfaces without compromising the overall ride. Take a look at this multi-view sketch of what the Kyger will look like with all these changes. All right, so we have done the hack and we ran the original shoe, but how does it really compare? In order to take our bias out, at this time we called on our rabbit. So the rabbit will run the original and our hack on the trail and let us know if we have made it perceivably faster. So any sensation differences between? Yeah, um, I mean, I can definitely feel how it's hugging the foot here. Yeah. And at first it felt actually softer, which I wasn't expecting. That's interesting. But then, like just the initial first couple steps. And then once I took off a little bit, it felt a little bit bouncier. So the rabbit has run the original shoe and the hack. And what did they think? Well, we made a perceivable difference in the fit of the Nike Kyger 5. The rabbit noticed the midfoot was more secure and they felt bouncier. We believe better fit translates to speed, and the arch support may contribute to the bouncy feeling. All right, so the changes we made on the outsole were not perceivable to the rabbit during the test loop, but the weight savings was appreciated. So while the rabbit didn't say they felt faster, the hack demonstrates how we positively changed the perception of the shoe on foot. Thanks for watching, and come back soon to see our next speed hack. <laughs>